Hey Doug, how do you feel about 200 miles? feel pretty good. We slept um, literally almost eight hours last night, which is crazy. Best so, ever. Best ever. We feel good. We're nervous. It's a long effing way, but excited. It's a low-key race and everyone's really nice. So we're just going to go get lost and hallucinate for a few days. How about you? Just eating, pooping, walking in the woods, no work. Vacation. So it's actually a humid start, feels really good. There's zero smoke in the air and slept a ton slept a ton um drew's hardly complaining well, yet and um this is fun it's a perfect start to the race i feel pretty good all right I'm filming for video. once there's doug there's drew a little foggy out here kind of nice this first day we just bombed down like a 3,000 foot paved road. Now we're walking back up the paved road. Uh, but it's going good. The temperature's great. Scenery's getting good and clouds are breaking up, so should be amazing. Doug? Yeah. There he is. Hey, buddy. Gotta go back to the aid station. Gotta go to the aid station. Go, go, go. You gotta go. All right. Bye. something just poking along on a road just did a dank forest sech probably, probably gonna run a little here we're making great time this is a very runnable course it's almost hard to like hold back but uh we're just gonna push into this next one and then we climb up into the mountain Getting closer to aid station number four, which is Saka. What's it? Saka what? Saka corn, <laughs> corn nuts. That's it. But we came out of the um, <clears throat> like the thick rainforesty part, and now it's really dry, just like pretty pines. Um, 
Drew's feeling really good, except for his love handles. But now we're just climbing for a while, and then um, I'm hungry. Marvin. We better have a gluten-free toasted brioche bun when I get there. <laughs> we're at mile, I don't know, 50 something and my poles broke so we're gonna have to figure out a way to fix that at the next aid station this is a cool section obviously serious climbage it's weird they're like i can't remember if i mentioned this but there are all these like microclimates here where you go into pockets where it's really humid so this whole stretch has been just like gushing sweat and then it'll get really dry and cool so sweating more than we thought but the temperature's still nice and we're doing well um, just a couple hard sections and it'll get a little easier after that as we head into nighttime How you feeling, buddy? I just spent several hours hiking behind you, staring at rump. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> so we're closing in on the Timpanogos aid station, roughly 100 km. That last 16 mile section was pretty murder. crazy. It was murder, man. It was. Um, a few thousand feet of climbing, really tough, and <clears throat> we're still feeling pretty good. We just need to go put our feet up and eat a bit. And it's hard to eat, like it's kind of humid and nothing tastes good. Um, a lot of tripping and stumbling, um, but this will be a good reset. I think we're going to try for feeling good to get up to Indigo Lake. I said it right? Yeah. And um, maybe uh, climb up there. I think that's about mile 70 or so. And see if we can lay down for an hour, hour and a half or something. Um, Cause we'll be pretty sleepy by that point. But so far so good. It feels good to be like in it, you know, like yeah. finally. Took a big bite out of it. Yeah. It takes a while. The first day you're kind of like trying to click the miles off and you just eventually want to get like deeper into it and now it feels <laughs> very real. See it. Morning is day two and everything hurts. And that night was super long and zombie y. We're trying to make a little time in this deep road to get to these next two stations to turn around, but it's a crawl. So, this is a really cool section we just got off. Um, there's a long road section that's kind of daunting, especially when you hit it 
in the dark late at night like we did and you get real sleepy and hallucinating. So you go down that road for a really long time and then surprisingly turn off of it and you're back on this really amazing old pine forest. I guess they're old, all old pine forests, but this is really beautiful. It's called the Umqua. What's it called? North Umqua. I think we're supposed to cross there. <laughs> Sucker. Hold that, hold that. Oh. Oh. Just got my second bee sting on my ankle. Um. But the white hot pain is actually nice, distracting me from my left knee and my right calf. Um, this section has a lot of bees. For some reason, I could care less about Drew. I'm sure it's odor related, but man, they're all over me. Whew. Okay, Drew, you left the last aid station. Soft, pillowy trail. Check. The waterfalls are plenty. What the hell just happened? Yeah. It never ended. It had thousands of feet in gain and loss. More, more energy. And 60 feet increments. Now we have to do it in reverse. How long did it take? Six hours. Six hours ago, 15 miles. 18. What? 18. Oh. Nailed it. Do them all in one. Or Drew, why, no. don't you, why don't you walk us through what's happening here? Uh, well, this started out with an effort to kind of cool off my core temp uh -huh. and somehow transitioned into foot management. I thought we were just getting the pine needles out, but now we're like really in there. Sort of tickling, sort of cleaning. <laughs> Just wait until they get a little wisp. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what the feather is for. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is Ethel. Hi, Ethel. Gertrude. <laughs> Ethel. Wow. My middle name's Matilda. You get Amish? <laughs> Mine's Muriel. Like this, is it? this is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so those are our trail notes. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be on electronics, so. Uh, <laughs> How about you from Portland? What was your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan. Yep. And you're a PT? Or I'm a physical therapist. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And you just drove down just to help. I mean, just to help out. Unbelievable. I was free. Quit, quit my job. <laughs> Very appreciated. What is he, Ryan? Yeah. Long. Um, glide. This is my turn for the high school uh, cross country team. I coach tra uh, like soccer, but oh, cool. don't help them out. So. Are you the eight station captain? Yeah. Awesome. So. Well, and awesome help. Be yeah. Best eight station so far, no doubt. See what you get for all that whining negativity? Huge turnaround from some devoted people. Best aid station ever. Um, whining equals help. <laughs> that was amazing. We were like heat stroking out in there. And 
we are just doing much better. Woo! Lifesaver. What do you think, Drew? I, I can't talk. I'm looking at my phone. Okay. Good talk. Fire hydrant? Not real. It's going to be that time of day where scary stuff's coming out. Oh, excellent move. Pommel horse. We have got to talk about night two. The <laughs> calamity of errors has been the Oregon 200 for us. Uh, There's really only one error that we badly overdrived everything. <laughs> yeah, everything else is just sort of dribbled down from that. Yeah. Uh, Doug tore his hamstring off. We lost like five or six hours of time in one section. Pretty sure I had heat stroke at 9100. Uh, zombie walk for a long time. I had to bivy because it was too cold because I didn't bring enough warm stuff to sleep out of the sleep tents. Really just knocking the can oh, yeah. down one by one. Yeah. Oh, uh, but we're, we're in the crucible right now, the 20 mile hoof up to the, basically the highest point of the course. And then that will feel, that'll, then it'll be a little more tangible. Yeah, then, then it'll be tangible. tangible. Yeah. Um, at least it's light out, because we were losing it a couple hours ago. Day three. I can't believe it made it to day three. Oh, it's a lot of up and down after you get up here, even though it doesn't look like it on the map. So we've got work to do, but yeah, we probably feel a little more tangible once we get up there. Indeed. See ya. Oh my gosh, we made it to the mile 140 aid station, which I realize there's still, <laughs> still 60 miles to go, but this is kind of like, uh, this is the big thing to get back to here because there's it's almost, not entirely, but it's just so much downhill the rest of the way and flatter and um, so this was, Amazing. Took forever to get here, but we're here. Made it. Made it. We're getting close um, to the mile one <clears throat> 58 aid station. Yeah. What's it called? Sacramdaga. Sacramdaga. Um, it is cooking out today it's so hot and baking off the off the ground so we're going slow and like submerging in, in the river as much as possible and that seems to be working but we thought we'd be going a little faster but due to a number of things like the fact that I have like a Brontosaurus calf at the moment and Drew's knees really stiff and it's really hot out it's a good excuse to just walk enjoy it as best as we can and there's no rush we'll get it done We're going up 
up the last climb. It's just like five miles of paved road. And we drop into the finish. And then we throw all of our ultra running gear oh in the God. trash can and move on to something else. Definitely. Because we have embarrassed our brand. My goodness. We finished exactly where everyone else thought we would, but nowhere near where we thought we would. Oh man, we are just electric on camera. <laughs> it's hard to tell through the camera, I think, but this is the worst Doug has ever seen <laughs> his entire life. Oh my God. Being as close is really hard. <sighs> Almost done. Can't believe it. Never thought this one would get done. No. <clears throat> Say that every time, but really this time. But really this time. Not sure how this is happening. Last inaugural year ever. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we got some like cool fog. It's amazing. Look at this. Whee! It's really happening! We're about to finish! Oh man. That was an epic three days. To the left. There it is! Oh my god! Oh, we did it, buddy! I love you so much! Yeah, you too. I never doubted us for more than a day and a half. <laughs> so much doubt. <laughs> Stay on the path. Gosh, so annoying. Through the thing. <laughs> <laughs> challenging race much harder than we expected but we got it done more crazy chapter in this strange strange book we're writing yeah all right well that was great signing off bye everybody love you too